LifeKit has just dropped their cloud agents and in this video we're going to cover why this is a game changer for every company trying to deploy scalable and affordable voice AI solutions. I'm going to walk you through how we can spin up a production inbound voice agent on LifeKit Cloud, hook it up with Tulio in a matter of minutes. Plus I'm going to share how you can get your hands on my ready to deploy Tulio plus LifeKit inbound template agent that comes built in with chat history, hangout functionality, RAG implementation and appointment scheduling tools that's easily customizable and with that being said let's dive in. First let's just quickly talk about why this is even important and if you ever had to deploy a voice AI solution in production environment and you didn't rely on platforms such as retail or VAPI to host and deploy the agent for you you might have come across some of these questions and issues as you're building. So what happens when traffic spikes right how many concurrent calls can I actually handle and how do I improve the latency and these are all some of the things that we we need to account for when building scalable voice AI solutions. And this is kind of the trade-off between using these kind of platforms because yes, it's very easy to set up, very easy to deploy, you can do it in a matter of minutes and it comes built in with a lot of functionalities and capabilities integrating with webhooks and so on. However, if you're building an enterprise production grade solution, you'll quickly run into concurrency limits with those platforms and the cost creep up as you scale. And that's the benefit of using something like LifeKit because first it's affordable, it's scalable and it's recognized and used by all the big brands out there. So these are the benefits the latest release allows us to have. So LifeKit actually handles all of the messy operations for you. It has smart load balancing. So it does this based on real load, the coolest location, GPU plus other stuff. But the result is we have lower latency and less jitter because if the traffic spikes, LifeKit will automatically spin up servers based on the location. So it'll be nearer to the customers and therefore it will reduce the latency. We're also able to pay only based on the agent session minute on the LifeKit cloud, which is very cheap and I'll cover the cost later in the video. And we are able to get 100 concurrent calls within the basic plan. And finally, the dashboard is actually very helpful in showing you the analytics, the build logs, uptime, and all the other metrics that you need to make sure the agent is actually working as it should be. And all this means is that we're able to have operating scalable voice AI solutions so that we can just worry about the agent's logic and not worry about the server and deployment side of things. So with that being said, let's dive in and build you your first LifeKit Cloud agent. So first go to cloud.lifekit.io and sign up and you come to the dashboard, you might see something similar to this where you can get started. You've got the sessions, agents, telephony. So what you want to do is go to agents and inside of here, if you click on deploy new agent, this is the setup that you follow. So first, if you don't have the LifeKit CLI, this is how you install it. Uh, brew install LifeKit CLI and then you authenticate using this command. Um, I'm going to start from step three because I'm going to assume you guys can do this. So first thing we want to do LK app create. So jump into your preferred IDE. It could be Windsurf, could be cursor, VS code, whatever it may be and start a new terminal. And inside of here, I'm just going to paste in the LK app create to create our application. And the first thing that you'll see is that they have different starter templates and we're just going to select the agent starter Python. The application name, I'm going to say YT demo. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to select the project. My project is called demo. So this is the one I'm going to select. And this is where we're going to input our API keys. So first you need to go and grab your OpenAI API key from your OpenAI account. I'm just going to copy and paste mine quickly. And then this template uses DeepGram for the speech to text model. So if you go to DeepGram, create an account, and I think they give you some free credits when you first sign up. And you want to go to API keys, create a new API key, and then copy and paste that into your CLI here. I already have a API key, so I'm just going to copy and paste that in. And it uses Cartesia for the voice model for the text to speech. Similarly, log into your Cartesia account and create an API key. Bottom here, API keys, create an API key, copy and paste it back into your LifeKit project. Next, what we want to do is CD into the folder that we just created. So just hit CD and then type in the name of a file. You just start typing the name and then click tab. It will complete the file name for you and then hit enter. And now we're in the directory or folder that we created. And what we want to do is copy this command UV sync and paste that in, hit enter. And now we'll just install all the different packages that we need. So we are now able to create the agent and deploy it. So the command to do so is LK agent create. 
So copy and paste this, hit enter. And then select the project. I'm going to choose demo. I'm going to say, yes, this is the default. And then it will generate the .env.local file for you. So what you want to do is just select that. And I've reached a maximum number of agents, but that's fine. So I just quickly deleted the agent that I had existing. And then if I run the command again, LK agent, usually it takes about one to two minutes. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. It's now asking if we want to view the logs as the agent is deploying. You can just hit yes. Right, so we can see that the agent running. If we go into agents again, we should see a new agent here and it's currently running. So what we can do to test the agent very quickly, go into the side here where it says sandbox and we're gonna create a web voice agent. This is like a live application, Next.js application that we can spin up and talk to our agent. Let's give it a name. We don't want a camera, a screen share, a chat. These are all capabilities that we're able to incorporate into our agent. And if you want a video about that, let me know in the comments down below. We can also set the agent's name, the company. So customize the look and feel for agent web page. So we can say Agentix AI, for example, YouTube demo, and let's just see how that looks. Create the agent. Don't worry about this. Just hit done and then launch. Let's start the call. Hello. Hi there. How can I assist you today? What can you do for me? I can help answer your questions, provide information on various topics, give current weather updates, and offer fun facts or jokes. All right. What's what do you the need? the weather in London today? In London today, it's sunny with a temperature of 70 degrees. All right, awesome. Enjoy. All right. So as you can see, it said 70 degrees. And this is because if you go inside of the code here, you'll be able to see under source agent. This is where we actually go and configure the agent. This way you give it instructions, you set the models, which model you want to use, etc. And also they have a tool here, the lookup weather tool. So this is just like hard coded in no matter which location you ask, it's going to say 70 degrees. So this is the template. It ensures you can spin up something very quickly. However, let's take it up a notch now and incorporate a Tulio integration to our voice agent. To do this, we're going to use Tulio's Twimmel bins to create a SIP and forward the connection to our LifeKit agent. So the first thing we have to do is jump inside of our Tulio account. And once we logged in, you just want to search for twimmel bin the top right here and then we want to create a twimmel bin and you want to paste in the following inside of here you want to give a username and a password so you can set whatever username you want and the password could just be password and the phone number is the phone number that you've purchased inside of your Tulio. So you want to paste in the phone number here make sure there's no spaces include the plus at the start you want to give it a name as well T demo and then hit create now it's created what you want to do is go to your active numbers select a number that you have and then under the configure tab this is where you want to come down to when a call comes in selection usually we used to have webhook to point it to our triggers however this time we're going to use twimmel bin then you're going to select the one that you've just created and save configuration and that should handle the twilio setup side of things now we want to go back to LifeKit and create the inbound twilio trunk so go down to configuration here and what we want to do is create a new trunk and we're not going to do this via the dashboard because it's a little bit different so we're going to do this via the cli and to do so we're going to go back to our windsurf or ide whichever one you're using hit ctrl c to come out of the logs here first we want to create a file in the root directory called inbound.json this is where we're going to input the configuration for trunk and you're going to want to paste in the following inside of here and as you can see once i've just automatically knew my credentials this is where we're going to give it a name i'm just going to say test trunk uh, the username and password needs to match the username and password that you set inside of the twimmel bin so if you want to add noise cancellation to the room we can actually add crisp enabled equals true. This enables the noise cancellation model and it just ensures better performance when it comes to our voice agent. Hit save and the command that we want to run in the terminal is lk sip inbound create inbound dash trunk dot json and this is the file name that we just created and this will go ahead and create the inbound trunk for us i'm not going to do so because i already have an existing trunk and it's going to cause conflicts however if you run this and then go back into your dashboard you'll be able to see on the inbound here you'll be able to see your trunk id uh, the trunk name that you've set it you can also set which numbers are allowed to be used so that's the first step done now we want to also create a dispatch rule and we do so in a very similar manner 
we create a file called dispatch-raw. I'm gonna go ahead, create a new file. Make sure we drag that into the folder. And you're gonna wanna paste the following. So dispatch rule, dispatch rule individual, room prefix call dash room. So this is the, the prefix that will be added to every room name and you'll have the prefix and then the phone number and then some ID for that room name. Then we just save the file and run the following command, LK sip dispatch create dispatch dash rule dot JSON. And this will go ahead and create the dispatch rule for us. Right, so that's created. Now if we go to the dashboard, we're gonna refresh. All right, and there it is, uh, the new dispatch rule and it's configured for any trunk and this is the room configuration we don't have any agent set so you're able to sometimes set a specific agent to a specific dispatch rule and that's what we had to do to actually connect Tulio to LifeKit. all right so to test the agent i've got the logs on the left hand side here and i'm just going to use Tulio's dev phone to call my number and let's see how it performs hello 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 there how can i assist you today Hi, I wanted to know, what are your prices for voice AI solutions? I don't have specific prices for voice AI yeah, solutions, know, but those can vary can widely based on features up, usage. Hang up? I can't hang up, but I can stop responding if you'd like. Oh. Just let me know. So it works. We have it integrated and connected with Tulio. As you saw on the demo, when using the LifeKit demo, we don't have any of the basic functionality, such as as soon as the agent joins the room, it should start speaking. It had to wait until I spoke to respond. It has no hang up functionality. It doesn't have write capability or any of the tools that you'd expect from a agent. And usually you'd have to go ahead and build those out by using custom code. However, I've put together a template ready for you to customize and deploy very easily. And let's see a quick demo of that in action. So I've put together this file here. It follows the same kind of folder structure. So we'll be able to easily deploy it to LifeKit under sources here. We have all of these folders where we're able to configure our agent. Um, we're able to give it a custom name inside of this file here. We're able to have all of the following tools incorporated into the agent. So we have a hang up functionality tool, a Q&A tool connected with Pinecone for RAG capability. We have a schedule meeting tool and end of call transcript to be able to send a transcript at the end of the call, summarizing everything that's been talked about. And I've also modified the agent to be able to speak as soon as he joins the room to dynamically greet the user, depending if they've called before. So we do a quick search to grab the past chat histories. If there's a call that happened before, you'll be able to know what the call was about. We'll be able to know the user's name and be able to actually do a personalized greeting at the start of the call. And I've actually used NA10 to make it very easy for you to hook up all the functionality for the agent to get the call history. We go down the top path here and it grabs the chat history from a Google sheet. And this is the kind of stuff we'll be able to save at the end of the call. We have the life kit room name, the date and time, the phone number, call duration of the call, the total tokens that were used inside of the call, the name of the customer, a full transcript summary of the transcript and then basic keywords that we've extracted from the transcript so you can start to see how powerful this can really be we also have the scheduling tool at the bottom here we'll check the availability if it's available it will go ahead and create the event if it's not available we have another tool that goes and fetches uh, the next available time and it sends that back to the agent to relay it to the user so if you want to get your hands on this complete system ready for you to deploy and customize as you please i'll leave a link to my school community in the description down below finally it's important to know how much it actually costs to run this voice AI scalable system. And LifeKit has this calculator on their platform, makes it very easy to estimate based on the different configurations. And they actually support over 30 different providers with 50 different models. You can really fine tune to your budget what you kind of need. So for example, if you want something that's super cheap, you can use something like ChatGPT open source model for the LLM. And then for the speech to text model, you can use something like ChatGPT 4.0 mini transcribe, which is super cheap at just 0.3 cents a minute. And then for the text to speech model, you can use something like Speechify, which is 0.6 cents a minute or something like InWorld, and this is kind of like, I don't even know what this is, but this is the cheapest that you can get your system to be running at 2.8 cents a minute. However, you're going to obviously notice some performance decrease and I wouldn't actually recommend this. Something that's a bit more feasible is, for example, going with ChatGPT 4.0 for the transcription. You might want to use something like DeepGram or Whisper model. And then for the text-to-speech, Cartesia is usually really good. However, it can really increase the cost quite a bit. Uh, 11 Labs obviously is the best out there, but it makes the, the cost super high. I have used the GPT-40 Mini TTS and that kind of is usually good enough. And then 
for the telephony provider this is included usually it's about 0.8 cents a minute and for LifeKit to actually host your agent and deploy it it's only 1.4 cents a minute and this is kind of roughly speaking how much you can deploy an agent for and this is similar to like Ultravox at just 5 cents a minute and I really like it because it gives us the flexibility to set up the pipeline how we like and configure it to our needs if you want me to cover anything else on the LifeKit ecosystem drop a comment down below and like always I hope you find this valuable make sure you hit that like and subscribe button until next time take care